It's Ketchup Packets. Hey everybody, I'm Sean. I'm Nate. And this is Ketchup Packets. Today we're back for more Expanse. We are on Season 5, Episode 2, entitled Churn. So, what is churn? I feel like we've heard that word in the Expanse context before, and we're supposed to know what it means. Yeah. But I don't remember I don't what remember that means. don't remember either. So, um, there are rocks flying at the Earth. Yep. We don't know about them yet, they but were, they might figure it out. Yeah, and they were, what, like 14 days out or something? Mm-hmm, like I think there's two weeks. 14 days to go, and there's the one that, that blew up near, the rock broke up near the mm-hmm. sun. And the science ship saw it, so it got blown up. And now Avasarala and Cristobal from Barry That's right. know that the science ship got blown up. Yep. So that might be their one clue that something's gonna happen. Yep, something's up. But I think it might be too late. Yeah. But I mean I guess two weeks is a lot of time, but it seems like the way that they set it up is that they're supposed to kind of break up into smaller pieces before they hit the earth. Like that's what that rock did. Well, it went past the sun, which has a, yeah. a ton of gravity, you know? So yeah, that's true. I'm so not sure if the other miss. rocks will do that. Yeah, I think that one... Yeah, it's curious, because, I mean, it seems like they did a lot of math. Yeah, They planned right. everything out, so they should have so, known what the path yeah, would be. <laughs> just be like, hey, did anyone account for the sun? It's like, oh, crap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I knew we forgot something. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I don't know exactly what that deal is. Yeah, but it's. I'm nervous about, about if that's going to hit. Mm-hmm. And it seems like it'll be pretty bad devastation. Yep. And I'm just trying to, I'm going in my head to try to think of what the other characters are doing. Well, Amos beat a bunch of people up. Yes, he did. In a, in a ship. And then he went and saw Avasarala. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, that's right. And there, you know. There was so. a little bit of sparks flying seemingly mm-hmm. strangely. Yeah, I think there was. Yeah. And then uh, Alex and Bobby met up and had a, right. a very not friendly meeting. <laughs> Alex is not having a good time on Mars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's got rejected by his family and rejected by his friends and just rejection. Mm-hmm. Um, it occurred to me as well, talking on that point, that the Belters don't have a specific hatred of Earth. They hate inners. Yeah. And I think they might have thrown rocks at Mars too. Yeah. You know, there's like more. It's not just one rock. Yeah, it's a bunch so of rocks. I think there might be some rocks headed to Earth and some rocks headed to Mars. And maybe we're going to see some devastation there as well, you know? I feel like that would be game over for Mars in general. Yeah, it doesn't you know? have the recovery yep. that Earth can have. It's true, you damage those structures. Yeah. The devastation could be total. It didn't seem like... It seemed like the end of all the trajectory lines on his little map mm-hmm. were all ending at Earth. But okay. we don't know if there were more rocks thrown. He, yeah, he threw what? It's like it was like seven. Yeah, it's out a the, out the rock, door. rock number nine or something yeah. like that was that first one we saw. So I don't remember the exact number, but there's a bunch. There's a bunch. And I just yeah, I haven't seen evidence that makes me think okay, they're coming at Mars as well. But it just occurred to me that Belters hate inners, and we yep. don't know for sure that they only targeted Earth. Seems like it would be weird to only target Earth. Yeah, it seems yeah. like you get one shot at this. Yep. You know, you might exactly. want to go for. Uh, both targets. Like everybody, yeah. So I don't know. Is uh, should we should we get into it? I'm yeah, excited let's... to see what else is going on. Yeah, let's do it. I learned that the first three episodes of season five were dropped together as sort of like a big event. Oh, I guess. So okay. We still might not get any impact this episode. I'm thinking that means maybe that's reserved for episode three mm-hmm. of that three episode dump. That was the other but... thing we said. Is kind of just like it feels like this was all build up. Mm-hmm. Whereas. The last couple seasons of this show, the first episode has been like the where things start to like kick off. Yeah. And it felt like this was kind of like we didn't really get any huge events. Well, we really expected it to be very big yeah. and explosive and then it just kind of was still more ramp up. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, that was a little disappointing, but we'll see what happens with this. Let's get into it. We have a Patreon down there. Check that out if you want to. There's full length reactions and they're ahead of schedule. And sometimes we have movie polls and stuff, too. So, yeah. Hit that up if you want to do that. Otherwise, thanks for watching with us. Help us get a new camera. Ooh, yeah, camera. We're filming on my phone. (laughs) Space plants. Space plants. Whoa. 
Somebody's ship is in trouble? Looks like big trouble. Hey, that's Kamina Drummer. She's hunting Marco, yep. right? Yep. Who are you to tell us who we can kill? I am Kamina Drummer. You respect my claim. Or you, you die and that. become a story. I tell you. That is what I said, yeah. Maybe done. Or maybe we finish you. I doubt it, bro. You make it easy. Ooh, uh -oh. What was that? <laughs> yes! <laughs> nice shot, no day! They're trying to power back up. So they had secret the cover ship? Yep. We have retransmitted your distress call to the UN. Inas should be here to pick you up in a few days. Will you fucking sleep at night? You people took everything from us! Not everything. All of ours! Wait, what? Why are they mad? Because I think they're they're taking all their stuff, which I don't really fully understand what's what's happening here yet. I thought they were saving them from those pirates. Every time. But they wanted the stuff. <laughs> oh, okay. Domina, you have a bounty on this ship. What is that? It's the Tynan. Place Ashford's ship. Oh, okay. So is that is Marco on there? Did they just actually find it? No, they just left it adrift. Yeah. Oh, cricket protein. Yeah. Yep. It's a good source. I'm not eating the bugs, man. <laughs> not doing it. It's cool to get a look at a regular urban area. Yeah. I haven't had much look at this. Oh, this is where Amos, Amos is from, yeah. right? Yep. If I was him, I would not ever want to go back there again. Sounds like he had kind of a rough go of it. Lydia was always waiting for you to turn up. His name is Timothy? Huh. I guess so. How did she die? She spent every waking moment hoping to see you again. You show up now and that's all you want to know? Is Davis. You mean he it's didn't cool say that was all he wanted yeah. to know? It's just a question he asked first. Tell me. It was an aneurysm. In her sleep. Brutal. She died because well. we got old and we had a lot of mileage on us. Aneurysm in your sleep isn't that bad of a way. You just kind of never wake up. Disappear, yeah. She knew that they would use you up till there was nothing left. Float to the top or sink to the bottom. Everything in the middle is a churn. <laughs> That's the churn. Okay. She saved you? No one really saves anyone. She taught me how to save myself. Okay, well, same thing. Thank you for... I don't know. I think there's an important yeah, distinction. Yeah, I guess so. She let me stay, but now that she's gone, the guy who owns it... He wants it back. What was his name? Eric. That's all I know. Stop backing. I'm gonna go kill Eric. <laughs> well, you know, that's not the yeah. first move. Oh, you got him for my job? Fuck you. I barely want the job I have now. I think you should've been more careful with your money. If you weren't stone-ass broke, you could've said no when I offered. Yeah, I'm supposed to be grateful now, right? This is important. It's a lot of hostility in this room. Is yeah. You know what your problem is? Tell me. You think that if someone's an underdog, that means they're the good guy. Hmm. 
I mean, yep. that is a flawed way to view things, and people can get yep. stuck in that. Absolutely. Always root for the person with the with the worst hand. Mm -hmm. Olga, I know that you're avoiding me, and I just want to let you know that I understand, really. I do. But also, I haven't been completely honest with you. Sure. I was filming you. <laughs> I've been holding on to it because if it gets out, it's going to send some people running for cover. But it proves that someone is going after the proto molecule. Meet me and I will tell you about it. Just you. I've got a room on level eight. Mm -hmm. Don't trust her. Yeah. Not for Just one don't. single second. God damn it. Yeah, I know. He's just like, what? It's not my problem. And then he's like, I gotta do something. I can't not. It's from the first episode with the Canterbury distress call all over again. Mm -hmm. You know, he just can't not do it. Oh, he's gonna, oh, gonna get here and she's gone or dead or something. And you're the only one here, and then the cops are gonna show up and it's gonna look like you did it. Mm. Whoa, blood of handprint. Okay, yeah, she's in a bad situation. Looks like now it. it's find the reporter. Maybe she just went to the bar or something. Yeah, she got That's really angry, yeah. and then she went to the bar. I didn't know you were coming over. I would have cleaned up the place. Ugh. Uh, we need to talk. You were Damn. Right. Yep. I believe the expression is "step on me, mom." Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that sounds right. Five times a week, and why are you shutting me out? Of what? I don't know. That's the problem. <laughs> I see you and you're living like... You have a problem with my place. You are snapping at nothing. Jeez. You're angry and it's not because of something I did. Well, it wasn't until now. Just... What's going on? Are you okay there, buddy? <laughs> Holy shit. Cool. I've been buying for months. Batcave. This is all black market. Oh, her. Mm -hmm. here Undercover work. Bonnie. There's no way someone walks off with one of these. That ain't possible. Now, it turns out it is. There have been a series of major force reductions, which means a whole lot of gear no one is using, and a bunch of people who are about to lose their paychecks. Easy math. Yeah, they're just... Mm. The police. <laughs> what? That's funny. The police are in on it. They're the delivery service. Military police, then. This is all coming from the military. And it's not yeah, just Goliath that's going missing. I've got a possible lead on stealth missiles. Oh, shit. Those are first strike weapons. Anyone buying one of those wants to attack a planet. Now you see why Avicerella is funding me. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. serious, Alex. <laughs> yeah, dude. Call the police. I oh, I didn't think of that. Huge. You and I are patriots, but Captain Sovater, he's got more dust in his vein than blood. No, there's no way a guy like that sells weapons to someone that can use them against Mars. This guy was my entry into the black market, and he had access that was coming from somewhere way above his rank. He was stationed at a low-level logistics office filled with people who didn't belong there. Hey, what's that got to do with Sovater? He signed the transfer orders. Everyone in that office was by his say so. So he's definitely corrupt in some capacity. Yep. Do you hear that? What? The guy is selling clav kalash from a stand, and it's got <laughs> crab juice on it too. And he just said, "No bull, stick, stick." <laughs> no way. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yep. I oh. saw the clav kalash guy. You need some? Is this Eric's corner? You work for him? Oh no, I need Eric. I just need you to give him a message. Tell him Amos Burden wants to talk. Hey man, why don't you go fuck yourself? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> And this is how you get attention quickly. Yep. I understand you're just doing your job. But I need a friend who would take a message to Eric from me. Do you want to be my friend? Yeah. <laughs> your buddies <Yeah>. are gone. <laughs> yep. Many ships left since she was taken? No. I've issued a temporary lock on all the docks. I'm going to keep digging on this end and find out who scrubbed that video. She said Big Fred's in on it. For the proto molecule. She had proof, and then minutes later, she's grabbed. That can't be a coincidence. My people will find her. You think Fred you took her because she knows what's going on? Mm -hmm. She's still on this station. Somewhere. Maybe not. Well, we get to find out. Or maybe not completely, but... That's cool. 
Very cool. The gates each allow equal access into and out of a single system. And so each of them individually represents a symmetrical choke point. The ring space they share, on the other hand, acts that way for all the systems. This allows a much smaller force to hold all the rings simultaneously and thus asymmetrically exert power. If you'd like to educate yourself further, Mr. Gavin, there's a good analysis on the topic by Brian Colton. I suggest you read that. Okay, I see. So, like, a single fleet inside the ring space is guarding against every other system yep. at once. Political and economic worlds changed when the Europeans colonized the New World and when Mars declared its independence. And now, again, with the opening of the ring gates. This guy seems very inspirational. Yep. The doctrine of grand strategy is the way in which we face these changes without losing sight of our purpose. I can see why How Alex thinks no way this guy's corrupt. Yeah, for sure. In these lectures and workshops, we have considered the ring space as a radical alteration of the tactical, economic, and strategic landscape. I mean, landscapes. it's the perfect and I hope we have like given a hiding spot, though, to be like this and actually be super corrupt. Carry the dream I guess. Of Mars from being a planet circling a lonely Hard to keep up, sun though. to a vision of humanity definitely really seems like someone driven by his values mm -hmm. not someone who would sell arms on the side just to make extra money yeah for sure maybe there's a bigger reason though uh, i saw you were uh, talking about the ring gates i was out there It'd be an honor to buy you a coffee i can give you my first hand account you pilot a stolen martian ship or an earther captain i don't think we have much to say to each other <sighs> Yeah, people don't like, like that you have the rusty yeah. man. It's been a long term. He's very tired. It's not you. You sure? Sure as hell seemed like me. He yeah, it was pretty personal. Like Lieutenant Babbage. Emily. I'm one of Admiral Sobater's aides. You can call me Alex. It is it's a pleasure to meet you, Emily. The first if person that's been like an nice an to him out the gate schedule. since he got here. Yeah. Maybe I could take you up on it. I mean, if that's not presuming. Oh, um, no, no, it's not. Babbage? That was a pleasant surprise. I know why he's here. Already on it? Oh, okay. Okay. It's Never mind. Secret spy. Asteroid spotter. Uh oh. They're gonna get a little bit more warning. Yep. Father misses you. I know he won't say it, but he does. He's back at Columbia now, getting ready for the semester. Okay, so they're still like a family. Yeah. yeah. You can patch things up. Yeah, separate. Like a rough patch. Looks like. Well, maybe he understands that you would rather do anything than admit this part of your life is done. You're absolutely right about that. <laughs> Perhaps we can take a moment to address that. Do you have something to add? I do. I would like to discuss the Hesami, the science ship that was attacked. Yeah. Mm hmm. I am aware of those reports. If the buyer is Marco Inaros and one of his ships destroyed the Hesami, it suggests. Admiral Delgado, you're familiar with those reports. Do you agree with her? Yeah. Which mm -hmm. part, madam? Was it in Inaros ship? 50 50. Higher than that? Not much. Christian, you're on Luna to do a job. It isn't this. If you'd prefer not to be involved in these discussions, you're more than welcome to submit your thoughts in writing. Understood. Good. Now, let's get back to work. Okay. Okay. Well, now it's gonna Shut be on out. Gal's watch when all this shit goes down. Yep. <laughs> Where the hell is she? Could be a cargo hold. Or a shipping container. <laughs> That's handy. These kidnappers need better restraints, yeah, clearly. Yeah, right. I'd like to play a game. I wonder what that box is all about. Yeah, I don't know. It's like a bomb or something. Some, Some sort kind of flashlight? Yes, yeah, so that's what it, that's all we know about it so far. Mm-hmm. 
Is this some kind of like escape room puzzle or something? What's no, going on? she's been kidnapped. Are you I not know. watching? <laughs> no, I'm, I know, but what's with the box? What's in the box? I want to know what the box is about. Yeah. Yeah. Must be very frustrating. Why? How do you know you can't there's even not any... like space yeah, out there? I know. That's kind of what it sounds like. Okay. Check for vacuum hazard. Yeah. Maybe don't open the door. Okay. Oh, okay. So you're just in like oh a my God. shipyard. Well, that's Is a good bad? hiding spot. Yep. I got one that's warmer than the others. Might be an atmosphere inside. That's gotta be it. She's in there. Got it set. It's gonna be something else and open up a whole new plot yep. line. Protomolecule monster in a box. Come on. What was her plan in the first place? Uh oh. <laughs> At least I gave her a little box that will tell her how much air she has. That's what stuff. I'm wondering. What's the point of the box? I'm not sure they're in the right place. She doesn't see this happening. Oh. Okay. Okay, what is that? This is carrying live soil. That's why it had atmosphere. This isn't the right container. They don't even necessarily know that there's any hurry. I mean, because, they know they need to get to her. Well, yeah, but if she's just in a container, she's fine. Except for that she's drained her own <laughs> oxygen. Yeah. Uh-oh. Amos, are you being set up? I just kind of feel that way, but it's okay. He can kick his way out of anything. No, he seems perfectly understanding of the fact that there's people, like, kind of following him and stuff. He's like, this is yeah. part of the deal. Around here, there's only one Amos Burton. What the fuck This guy's missing his hand. Me? Yeah. Lydia died. That's not an answer. We had a deal. God, this I'm guy's insufferable fuck already. you. You killed Burton for me instead of killing me for him. You got his name, and a way off the planet. I made sure Lydia was taken care of her whole life. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now she's gone. You think you can come back? I'm not back. And Lydia is not gone. I went to the funeral. She's got a guy. He loved her, and as long as he's here, a part of her is too. The husband? He keeps the house. So we heard before well, about Amos died. Burton, the crime That's boss in Baltimore, and they said, right. but there's no way that could be you. So he killed the crime boss. Yep. I don't That's all this is. Yeah. So let him keep the house. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, okay. You don't have to test me. They're buds. I'm not here to take anything that belongs to you. Okay, so there's Ooh. clearly some unfinished business here. Yep. <laughs> gonna take his booze. Nice. You've changed. You just said you weren't gonna take what belongs to him. Yeah. Nothing really valuable. Next time you go up the well, don't come back. I love you, and I miss you, I do. But show your face in my city again, and I'm putting you down. It's good seeing you again, Eric. Yep. Yeah, it's a complex relationship. I think he helped him out. And if it ever comes out that he's not who he says he is, other dude bros, the whole spot gets yeah. blown up, you know? There'll be lots of trouble. Yeah. I think they're here. I sure hope so. Wait, I don't really know why I'm going to bat for her, actually. I don't understand I don't like her very much. from like a writing standpoint why you even bother with having them land on the wrong pod if now they're just here and they say we're yeah. you know. Tension. Right, but why wouldn't the yeah. tension just be relieved at that moment when they cut it open? No, they got there in time, yep. they saved her. You know, what's the weird head fake? 
Okay. So yeah, she led them to her, I mm -hmm. guess. What was the point of the whole stunt in the first place? When was the last time a Belter pirate took down a ship in the inner planets? I don't remember one. Because it's the most dangerous place in the system for them to operate. Yeah. Yeah. What There's gotta be a reason for it. Specific ship. Why would Marco and Aris do that? It seems so random, so pointless. Yeah. Definitely high risk. If it were you, why would you do it? Why would you take the risk? Because they saw something. I know what you're doing. Is it working? <laughs> Seems like it kind of was. Yep. When you're hurt, hurting others is easy. You take strength to choose not to. Is this young Timothy? I love you, Timothy. Hmm. But I'm not righteous. I can't teach you to be that. They did a good job giving him the same hair. Yep. <laughs> Maybe you and I... Yeah, he looks like a young Amos, for sure. You can pretend to love me enough to listen. Maybe that's enough for people like us. So maybe this was supposed to be obvious, but I think the kid that he kept seeing on the on the street was just him. In yeah. His head. Yeah. It looked okay. a lot like him. All yes. right, I'm caught up, your boy, everybody. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> Chrissy, I'm gonna need a favor. I'm getting ready to go back to the ship, and I'm not coming back to Earth ever. But there's someone that I should see first. I'm gonna need your help arranging it. Who would he need Officer Rallis' help to see? Whoa! Whoa. Oh, rocket oh, launch. Okay, okay, okay. I thought maybe a yeah, rocket did here. Look like... We'd see it come down. Yep. Oh, that's it. Huh. Okay. Give us yeah. rocks. A little bit more build up again. Yeah. That's how it feels. Well, like we learned, it just it was the first three episodes premiere. So yep, you know, yep, yep. Next week will be the big booms. I'm cool with it. A lot of build yeah. I mean, the comments have all been saying that this season is a wild ride. Seems so. like it's a lot yeah. of people's favorite seasons, yeah. yeah. We saw that rock go sailing past the asteroid spotter, and uh, nobody talked about that, yeah. so I don't think it got spotted. Yeah, they have the stealth tech on them. Mm-hmm, I think that it's, is, uh, it's working. It's a scary. Yes, it's, it's a scary uh, prospect. Oh, boy. What else we got? There was no Naomi, really, this... I mean, no, there was a little bit of Naomi, wasn't there? No. She, her face popped up when Holden was looking through his messages. That's, that's right. It. Yeah, so. yeah. But she is going out to try to find Philip. Yep. And so she might, you know... Boy, wouldn't it be terrible for her to, like, arrive where Philip and Marco are right before the impacts are going to happen so she can be, like, with them to witness oh it all God. go down? Do you think that'll happen? I think that sounds, like, likely, you know... Dramatically, it's like it's too that's, late to stop that's good it writing, kind of yeah. Thing. And I also think Avasarala, because she's like, you know, she's got a little whiff of it, a little mm -hmm. whiff that something's happening. So I think she'll also put together what's going on just when it's too late to do anything about it. Yeah. And you think to... the rocks hit the earth? You think? Yeah. You think and so? Yeah, I think I mean, so. The odds seem stacked in that direction, don't they? Yeah. The, in order <clears throat> to prevent it at this point, they would have to pull off such a incredible feat of coordination and reaction mm -hmm. and with all the red tape that it always takes to get anything done on this show you know i think that the rocks are going to hit the earth to some degree and it's going to be on nancy gow's watch and then maybe 
Avasarala will be asked to take the lead again. Yeah. Because she saved the Earth from Eros, and then Nancy Gao yeah, allowed, this, allowed to happen, this to happen, is what the public will think. a little bit unfair, but mm -hmm. yeah, just yeah. considering one of I'm them I'm not was saying like, that's like, that's actually justice, but yeah, I'm saying but that's what might happen. It's realistic politics. Yeah. Totally. Oh, boy. That was mm -hmm. a weird... I, li I always like learning new stuff about Amos, because mm -hmm. he's such a deep and complex character with like all his motivations all you know like every time i'm just like geez dude his motivations are clarified like later on mm -hmm. you know it's like oh, okay it's because of this experience so like you reacted this way to this thing and i really like that but there was something interesting about there's something maybe less interesting about this little storyline that he just had maybe he, okay. he's tying up loose ends i guess you know yeah. or whatever and like he so he visited that was basically like his mother figure yeah like her house and stuff and got the but like me it seems like specifically us being introduced to the one-handed guy mm -hmm. was he amos is gonna show up there again if it's literally just like we got introduced to this relationship we got a little taste of like what you know okay so like the other people who were like him in his same situation ended up in a position like that and he's a yeah. crime he's a crime lord sure yeah right. a small time crime yeah. boss you know like but yeah. he's got his little domain in mm -hmm. baltimore yeah yeah i think you're right that they would only put that scene in there to sort of like establish this dynamic for that guy to come back later yeah and be an antagonist to amos in some sense yeah it was this was sort of like an intermediary or no like sort of a, a setup episode you know yeah like kind of but I also don't even more so than the first one. I like that. don't get antagonist from that character either, necessarily. Yeah. I can see what you're saying because obviously their relationship is complicated, mm -hmm. like you were saying, you know. But I feel like he's gonna be the old, like, in some situation down the road, he's gonna be like the only. Amos is gonna be like, I know, I know what we have to do. We have to talk to this guy for this reason oh, or another okay. reason, and he told me to never come back, but I'm going to have to anyway. Uh, yeah, and it's like. You know, he seems like he actually has sort of. I mean, Amos walked off with his booze. It's true. And, and it he was didn't a very even much, say anything yeah, like, "Hey, what are you much, doing?" Man? Yeah, it's kind of like good to see a buddy. Just mm -hmm. don't come back here because you know, I have we're, to kill and you. then everyone's going to be in trouble, and I can't let that happen. You know, exactly. It was very, very like almost like as good of friends as Amos has ever had before the current crew on the Rossi. You know what I right. mean? Right. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, and the other thing that guy could do too that occurred to me while you were saying that is that maybe. They could wind up in a situation where they're like, oh, something's bad's happened, and now these bad people are coming, and they're gonna, you know, you're gonna be in trouble when that happens. And then when the bad people turn up, it's that guy. And so, like, he owes oh. Amos, you know, or like his yeah, relationship yeah. to Amos could get them out of a perceived jam, maybe at yep. some point. That's what I'm thinking. He's gonna mm -hmm. re enter the story, even mm -hmm. though they specifically set up this character will never, they'll never be in contact again. Right, but it's they like, spent yeah. a whole, you know, the whole scene introducing him and talking mm -hmm. about their history. And he's also very physically distinctive so you yep. can take him away for a long time and then bring him back and the audience yep. will be like that guy you yeah, know it's yeah you, you remember a, lot of a guy surveillance with one camera hand. with just a couple of pixels to work with and go like hey that's mm -hmm. my friend from you know yeah, exactly so he's gonna yeah. pop up again somewhere definitely uh what else on this episode it was sort of just a little medium yeah, interlude just, before yeah. i really feel like the big one is next week i feel like yeah. the big event when it's gonna start Things are going to get exciting will be the next well, one. Alex and Bobby, though. Yeah. That's, that's definitely a thing to, to note, because now Alex is in on Bobby's whole deal. Right, yeah, and he can sort of access places that she can't quite access. Although he's yeah. been gone from Mars for so long. He's not trusted anymore, I don't yeah. think. He sort of absconded with one of their gunships and stuff. Right, he, yeah, he doesn't quite have better access than her, but he sort of probably has maybe different access, mm -hmm. you know, but... Also, they're on to him. Like, yeah, they're that guy's, immediately. That guy's lady was, you know, the, that, out what that's the a hell weird way to say it. That guy's here. lady, the, the, <laughs> his, the woman his, working yeah. for the professor dude. He's not a professor. I don't. We don't. I don't know, I don't know terms. Admirable. I think she's his 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 subordinate. <laughs> yeah, in some something. capacity. Babbage. The, that was her sure, name. Babbage. Right? She yes, was the computer let's call her lady. By her yes. name, please. Bar this, is, I don't remember what the first name yeah. was. Who cares? Well, look, this We're show has derailed. so many characters and so with so many names and mm -hmm. then they the ships have names and then the names change it's true it's a lot to keep yeah there's of, the so. tachi and the rosinante and the the well what did prax change it to for a little bit oh yeah oh i can't even i don't uh, remember man it was bad yeah <laughs> it was not a good name 
The contorta. The contorta. Yeah, the contorta. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Boo. Boo. All right. We're, we're off topic. Should we yeah. do that it for this yeah, week? Yeah, I think so. I'm, okay. I'm excited for next week, though. Yeah. It's going to be good. Well, I mean, it's not, this one wasn't bad. No, it's just it weird. Wasn't. Come of on. Of course, I would never say. No, e- no, no. It's eagerly great. awaiting it's great. the destruction of the earth. <laughs> yes. Something really intense is about to happen. I yeah, can yeah. feel it. All right. Well, that's about it for this week, I think. Thanks for watching with us, Screaming Firehawks. We love you guys. Leave comments like always. Until next time, I'm Sean. I'm Nate. This is Ketchup Packets. See you later.